Once upon the time, there was a king of Armenia. In curious turn of mind, and in need of some new diversion, sent his heralds to make the following proclamation. Hear this, whatever man of you can prove the most outrageous liar in whole Armenia, shall receive an apple made of pure gold from his majesty the king. People began to swell to palaces from every town and peoples from all conditions, merchants, farmers, priced, rich and poor, tall and short, fat and thin. There was no lack of liars in the land and each one told his tale to the king. A ruler has heard every sort of lie. One of them had convinced the king that he had listened to the best one. The king was being tired of it, of his new sport, and was thinking to end the whole contest without choosing the winner. When the rich and thin man appeared after him. What can I do for you? asked his majesty. Sir, said the poor man, surely you remember that you owe me a pot of gold? You are a bad liar, said his majesty. Am I a perfect liar? said the poor man. Then give me a golden apple. The king understand, realized that he was trying to trick him. No, no, you are not a liar, and then give me the pot of gold that you owe me. The king saw the dilemma, he handed over the golden apple. The story teach us that being truthful and uh, genuine can be sometimes more rewarding and powerful. The lesson today is should you lie? I believe you can answer this question correctly. Let's underestimate the story of me. So when I was little, my granny and I was lying that I ate, but I didn't. So when she came to the kitchen, she saw that the food is still on the table, but I was watching the movies. And she was angry, she had emotional, she was yelling at me that come back, eat your food, and you know, granny stuff. Did that teach me that I will never lie again? Because it made her emotional, it made me come back, it wastes my time, and I can't enjoy movies because I didn't finish my meal. Funny enough, but the story is really teachful. And there is a trick that if you don't stop doing it, you can overlie and you will not remember the lie that you said. Now you will believe in the same lie that you said and now you will be confused like me when I was younger and I had bad grade and I told to my granddad that I have an A but I was having the F. And when I opened the diary I wasn't happy too because I believed in my lie and I thought that I didn't get an F. I was a great student, I did nice. That's really showing us that lie that we are saying, we can believe in this lie, and then this lie will confuse us. Make yourself a principle that don't lie, or neither don't say a true. Somebody's asking you, how much money do you make? Or what is your password to Google account, you know? You don't need to say true, bro. Just don't say anything true, and you're just saying, I don't want to say this information to you. And let's focus on this. You kind of understand this and you're trying not to do it. But think about it all the time. When you lied, said sorry, I'm wrong, I have an F today. I'm sorry, I was not trying to lie, but I did. You can return it, you can fix it. And what I'm saying to you, it's really powerful. Like, it's the same with health. Everybody know that you should be healthy and you should care about your body and stuff. But nobody do. Same with here. Everybody knows that you shouldn't lie, but you still do. And from this story, that shows that every single liar who was lying to the king, he understands the lie. So, same can be here with your situation. When you lie to someone, he can understand, he can get it. Now you are in bad position. Your reputation goes low so that you can't return it anymore. Don't be nice, be good. See you in the next one.